Photography. He good in that. That's his lane. <laughs> Is it hard to turn on people because of the edge or anything when you're around all the, you know, the fighters in the camp? Anything? No, we compete in everything. We compete in everything. Anything we do, who can spit the fighters, we compete in. Champ, <laughs> you ready to remind the world why you're number one pound for pound? I don't like to talk about it. I like to show them. More of a hands-on type of guy. You know? If you don't believe me, then I'll make you a believer. Is it a pressure or a blessing when people say you're, you're, you're number one in the world? It just uh, motivate me. You know? Add fuel to the fire, and then, you know, when I get to prove them wrong, then that's more joyful. Too. You feel like this is the biggest stage right here in New York? Uh, one of them. You know, uh, Vegas is a big stage as well as New York. Terrence, so you plan on sending a message to all the 147 pounds? Do you think the fact that Earl's out that that y'all can get a fight with Keith or a Sean they don't got no belt and you the one with the belt? You make it make it a lot easier, or it's just politics or politics? <laughs> Uh, do you think this guy holds a threat? Machine? Everybody will pose a threat. You know? uh, this guy, uh, I just fight. He's a two-time Olympian. You know, he's earned the right to be here right now. He's undefeated. He's strong. He's hungry. He's got everything to get, uh, win. Nothing to lose with. So, you know what I mean? He makes for them dangerous fights. You, know, you got to be prepared for it. Is New York kind of coming your second home? It's going to be very comfortable here. I'm comfortable anywhere I'm at. You know, long as how much has it been to be a unified champ in 2020? I, I gotta, I gotta get those fighters to get in the ring with me first. When you unified at 140, you said that you were gonna be the most famous guy walking the Cracker Barrel now, like in Omaha. What's it? <laughs> now that you're 147, you're arguably the best pound for pound fighter. What's it like now in Phoenix walking around Omaha? You know, people greet me the same way as if I was 135. You know, uh, I've been around since uh, amateur days. So, you know, some people come up, want pictures. Some people just come to shake my hand and just say, "What's up?" That was good to be champ. You open a new boutique or something? Or apparel store? Apparel? Yeah, I opened up. Uh, Paris store this Saturday. Mm -hmm. Of course. Chad, this being the latter stage of your career, what kind of goals do you have remaining with such an illustrious career thus far? What do you What do you want to achieve left in your sport? Uh, my my last ultimate goal is to become undisputed at 147. I didn't accomplish everything else that I need to accomplish. And, you know, that's the last goal. You know, to set. And then after that, it's all the fame. Nice. <laughs> you notice know, you're not throwing hands right now. You're not really working out. Is that like come uh, something that you don't do? It's like, is that a uh, decision on your own? Same. Same. 
ain't working out today. I'm going to work out afterwards. <laughs> from now, in the ring. <laughs> this one, so this is for show, then? Yeah. 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 What, what do you say to the naysayers that would say that you're on the wrong side of the street in order to accomplish the goals of being undisputed at 147? You're on the wrong side of the street, and you have to essentially move to get to make that happen. I just say it's all of you guys that are speaking to the people that are on the side of the street. There's no such thing as the wrong side of the street in the sport of boxing. When you look at it, Deontay Wilder is about to fight Tyson Fury, and you never heard anything about wrong side of the street, like PBC or top rank. It's just something that they say when they got Terrence Crawford to do it. You know, you don't ever hear wrong side of the street or any other fighter but like Terrence Crawford. You know, in the media say, oh, well, he's on the wrong side of the street, he should have signed with PBC. But why all these other fights get made but when it's Terrence Crawford, oh, he's on the wrong side of the street. So, uh, Jamal Charles said Crawford. this weekend in Brooklyn, Jamal Charles on one side of the street in that division. Man, you know, so he's on the side of the street. Those fights can get made, you know, they can get made. It's more about money. How much does that, that bother you, the fact that that's a, a narrative that's universal? It really too much don't bother me as much as people do. I didn't accomplish more than all those welterweights over there except back then. You know, if you look at what I've accomplished in the sport of boxing, and if you look at what Arrow, Keith, Sean, uh, Danny Garcia, all those other welterweights over there, I didn't accomplish way more than each and every one of them except back then. Do you, you think, think they need you? You don't need them? I really don't need them. They need them. So you if you were to have a Wilder Fury fight, the collaboration between Fox and ESPN could potentially help you land the fights that you want? No, that's just show that they can do business together. Because those two fighters want to fight each other. And I'm pretty sure they went to their business handlers and said make the fight happen. And that's how the fight happened. Now the avenues are open right now. The guys that are <coughs> making decisions, the executives are talking to make this fight, they're gonna say, hey, why don't we make Terrence Crawford versus Ellis Friends, Terrence Crawford versus that fight, the list. Any fight can get made. Any fight can get made. Do you think it would take a bad Terrence Crawford performance to potentially make that fight happen? <laughs> One bad performance leads to a good one. But I mean, you're like, in other words, you're saying that like you're so good that maybe that's why they wouldn't want to fight you. So maybe a bad performance would go them into. I don't know. That's something that I can't answer. You still want the Pacquiao fight? Of course. Of course. Of course. Pacquiao or Floyd? <laughs> Pacquiao. Logan Paul. Floyd, my guy. Huh? Logan Paul. Logan Paul. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can fight outside the ring. YouTube. <laughs> can we put it on YouTube? <laughs> no, no, no. We're doing that.